Now that we've identified all of the accessories that come with the Jane, we'll start by winding a bobbin so we can get ready to sew. So I'm going to place my spool of thread onto one of the upright spool pins. Now of course there are two, it really doesn't matter which one you place it onto. And then you'll take your spool cap and I'm going to insert it so that the prongs face down so it's nice and flat. I'm using a spool of Madeira Katona thread that comes on a spool. Now you can also use cones of quilting thread which is nice because you get so much on these cones. The machine comes with two separate cone holders and you can place these right onto the spool pin and your cone threads sit onto the cone holder and it keeps it nice and straight as you stitch. Now back to the bobbin winding. To wind the bobbin you're going to follow the dashed numerical path on the top of the machine that will show you the direction to take your thread. First we're going to come under this guide here and under the tension disc and then we're ready to insert the end of the thread into one of the holes in the bobbin. So you are going to run that right into the bobbin, just like that. Here we go. Pull a little tail, and then you'll place it onto the bobbin winding spool pin and give it a little turn until it seats down onto the spool pin. You'll hear the sound that it makes. Now you can activate the bobbin winder by pushing the lever and it deactivates the sewing motor on the machine. So now, when I press on my foot control, the bobbin will wind. So now I'm just going to wind for a bit, get a little thread on that bobbin, and then I can cut my tail away and continue winding. Okay, so it automatically stops when it's full, and now I can cut my thread. And I'm going to move the lever back to the sewing position so when I begin to sew uh, and put my foot on the foot control it will actually sew and take my bobbin off. To access the bobbin case first you can lift this door and then this one and inside of here you'll find your side loading bobbin. So we'll pull this out and that's the bobbin case and the bobbin is going to go into the bobbin case so that the thread is coming off of the bobbin in a clockwise direction. We'll place that right in there just like that. And then you want to catch your thread into this little slit and then bring it around to the tension screw, just like this. Now it's ready to be inserted back into the bobbin area. So we're going to place it so that this little lever is to the right side and it sits right onto the spool pin inside here. And you can give that lever a little lift until you hear the bobbin click into place. Once the bobbin case is in, you're going to take your tail thread and follow it right over this piece here and then over this one. Now you can give it a little snip and it's going to trim the thread and hold it steady and you can close the doors. So we start with this bottom door and then the top. Now that we've got the bobbin in, I'm gonna take the thread back out of the bobbin winding path and we'll thread the needle. So we start with this thread guide here. There are three holes in it and your thread is going to go into all three of those holes from top to bottom. So we're going to take the thread down, bring it back up, Make sure that that's coming straight from the thread guide. The second hole here. We go and back up and into the third hole. Feels like you've got lots of thread there, but then after you get all three in, just kind of give it a little tug and make sure that all of those threads lay nice and straight. You don't have any twists or turns or tangles, that they just kind of gently wrap around the front of that thread guide. Now we're going to take the thread into this guide here and around the tension knob under the bottom and then it comes up over this little check spring here. So it should click right into that little spring and it comes down underneath of this hook back into this thread guide. Now we're going to insert the thread into the take-up lever from right to left, just like that. And then back down again into that guide. And now we come to the guide at the top of the needle. We have a guide here too, but I like to put it into the guide at the top of the needle first because then it just kind of lays right into this guide here. Now you're ready to activate the needle threader. Now the needle threader has a small red pin on the end. and You want to make sure that when you pull this down, that, that red pin just grabs your thread and that way when you push the needle threader forward, it holds the thread nice and taut and I can take it across to the front of the needle. Here's something different about the Jane than a lot of our sewing machines. The needle goes flat side to the right, so the eye of the needle is across the needle, not front to back like we're used to seeing. 
Now we'll take the thread straight across the guide here. There are little prongs hugging the needle. And when I bring my thread across, I can feel that it hooks right into the needle threader. Now I'll release the needle threader and it brings a little loop of thread right through the eye of the needle. I can pull that out and my needle is threaded. Now I'm going to bring up the bobbin thread, lifting up the presser foot here. And I'm going to just gently turn the hand wheel toward me until my needle drops down and comes back up again. And then I will be able to pull that bobbin thread right up. There it is. And be ready to stitch. Thank you.